How's it going, everybody? PSU Mike here. Um, little mail day action before voting day. So, hey, go out and vote if, if you're registered or what have you. I mean, it's, you know, something good to do. Exercise your rights. This is the one that counts. You guys might, you know, the Electoral College decides the president, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but this is one that directly affects you. So, um, if you guys hear anything, any crunching in the background, it's my, my pet rabbit, S'mores. Um, he's not feeling well, so if you guys want to send us some prayers out for him, I'd appreciate it. Um, but anyway, without further ado, a um, little foreshadowing. In the background, I have Gesicki, Gesicki, Hamilton. Um, huge Penn State fan, if you didn't, couldn't guess. Um, but anyway, so... If you guys caught in, caught my other videos, um, you'll see that I pulled a Royce Freeman RPA out of 25. In the video before that, I pulled a just a jersey card out of Phoenix, I think, um, number 200 of Royce Freeman, um, which that's going to Timmy G now uh, for him to enjoy, because that's what I do. If you guys follow me on Twitter, follow me on here. Whatever your team is, if I pull something, let me know that you guys like. Um, I'm more than willing to make some deals. Um, blind trade. If you like it, hey, send me some Eagles and some uh, Penn Staters that are equal value. I'm more than happy to do that. I'm not in this to make money. I'm in this because I like opening packs. So if I can make up the cost that I spent for the box or for the subscription box, whatever it may be, I'm willing to do it. Um, so... I went to. I offered a card for card trade out of because for the Royce Freeman for a Mike Kosicki out of Prism that a gentleman had. Um, he wasn't taking the. He wasn't doing it. Uh, he's an Oregon fan. So um, we. Uh, I, I. I kept in mind he was an Oregon fan um, when I pulled that out of 25 Royce Freeman RPA, and we came to an agreement. And here, here's a gentleman, BDX Pack Ripper. Go follow him. Really good guy. Um, there it is. It's his card. He gave me a couple of them. Um, the guy went above and beyond. I, I am so thrilled. Um, so here's here's what he sent me. Now at first I'm thinking Marcus Allen. Wrong Marcus Allen. Does this guy know who played for Penn State? Who's Eagles? Who's an Eagle? Whatever. And I was like, okay. Well, as I keep going, oh, okay. So he knows. <laughs> Just some base Mike Kosicki's. Um, again, like I said, these cards may be fifty cent cards at your local uh, card shop, your LCS. To me, they're I, they're priceless to me. So I value them just as much as I'd value anything else. But here's the prism I did the deal for. Look how pretty that is. Number out of 15. Again, this card, people may have a different value on it than, than me. That's fine. Um, I really wanted it. I kept in mind, he, uh, PDX Backgrover is from Oregon. He's a Ducks fan. And I hooked him up with that RPA. He's a Colts fan, so I threw some other Colts stuff in there for him. And he, I thought, hope he appreciates it. Um, but he also sent me this. He sent me... A, 4 out of 10, Mike Kosicki RPA, 3 color patch, a Chris Goblin, Matt Collins, because it's RPA, I'm an Eagles fan, so that I like that, Deshaun Hamilton, from Origins, out of Absolute, RPA to 399, Deshaun Hamilton out of 499 from uh, Illusions, out of XR, out of 199. Another one out of XR, out of 199. Out of Prism, we have a nice, like that card. Again, this card's probably not that valuable, but to me it's priceless, and that's what this hobby's about. You know, you know, a fan of a certain team or a certain player, you you hook them up, they'll, they'll hook you up. And then this one out of Origins as well. It's a regular rookie. Auto. 
So that's what that's what he sent me, and I I am so appreciative of that. Um, that's something that I just get on my soapbox for a second. If you guys don't mind listening for a couple minutes, this hobby is about helping out fans. Um, you know, we all like ripping packs. We all like opening product. Um, this box of contenders is, what was it, 120 when it came out around that? And some of those cards were, I mean, astronomically priced. And look, if you can make a buck, capitalism at its finest, go do it. Um, but if you bought a box for 120 and you pull a card that's a couple hundred, and you, it's a Josh Rosen, uh, a crack dice out of 23 auto, whatever, whatever the case may be, Make some money off of it, but if you find yourself a UCLA fan or an Arizona fan or a Rosen fan in general, they're probably never going to sell that card. That card's going to go up, and it's going to make somebody really, really happy. I'm not socialist. I don't believe in that nonsense. Um, capitalism at its finest. Love my guns, so on and so forth. Um, but this hobby is about, you know, collecting who you collect, and you grow your PC if you can. Um... So sure, make a little money if you want. Um, but I I'm more than willing that others are like, I mean, look. Look at all this. PDX Pack, Pack Ripper went way out of his way. Knowing I'm a fan. Knowing that I'm going to value this card right here. That card just as much as I value this card, per se. Or any of my... Saquon autographs or anything. I value this just as much because I'm a Penn State fan. Um, so if you guys know a fan of something, if you're a team, a player, don't don't be afraid to cut them a break here and there. Because I guarantee you, next time I pull a Mariota, if it's even if it's a insert number to five, I have no problem saying, "Hey, PDX Pack Ripper." Would you like this? And if he says, yeah, I mean, my wife will kill me, but I'll send it to him. I don't even charge him. I won't ask any money for him. It, it, Mariota is not a, a player I collect. So if somebody else is going to appreciate it more than I will, heck yeah, I'm going to help him up. Or, you know, if it's valued at 200 bucks, I'll be like, hey, 50 bucks, it's yours. You know, you're going to appreciate it. It's going to cover the cost of the box that I probably bought it. Um... So on and so forth. Like, I think it was I got this out of Brothers and Cards. You know, eighty some dollar subscription box, number to twenty five, RPA or not R, but just autograph rookie. I'm not a Darnold fan. <laughs> um, not a Jets fan. Not a USC fan. But look, if I can make even three fourths of my money for that box out of that. And this goes to a fan. I'm willing to do it. Um, so hit that like button. Subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to open some more. I'm getting some other uh, subscription boxes. I'm getting Mojo. The, the Mojo Chest next. Um, I liked Brothers and Cards. Um, the Boom Box was nice. But, you know, I'm just trying to find the one I like the best. Um, so, next subscription box... If somebody's a fan, let me know who you're looking for. Um, I'm not going to, you know, be hard on the price with you. I mean, I'm willing to work with you. If you have any Penn Staters or Eagles, let's make a fair trade. And that's all I need to do. It's just so I don't grow my PC. That's what this is all about. Um, and because he did so well for me, I have a nice little care package going on for him. Um, just because this is what this hobby is all about. So... If you guys are a fan of a team, you know, let me know. If I have anything, I, I'm more than willing to make a deal with you. Um, because, honestly, that, that's what this is all about. It's a great community. Um, anyone from, I see, you know, YouTube channels where, where kids are opening packs. Even adults. I mean, if you guys want to see somebody get excited, go follow Timmy G. Um... He's trying to get, get the biggest PC of Ray Lewis the out there. I'm trying to do that for my Penn Staters. I mean, that's what this is all about. Um, so, 
hit the like button, subscribe, um, show your fandom, say who you like. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll reach out to you on or reach out to you on Instagram. Let me know if I have anything. I'll let you know. And if if it's your team, absolutely, we can work something out. Um, I'll send you pictures of what I have, and we'll go from there. Um, if you like anything, let me know if you have any Penn Staters or Eagles fan, Eagles players. Not even autographs, not even patches. Like whatever you have, I'd be willing to make a deal. So, and I'm not the only one like that. You you can look at anybody's collection all over the country, all over the world, and people are going to be more than willing to say, you know what, I'm not a Darnold fan. Somebody's gonna really love this card, or I'm not a, you know, golf fan, or whatever the case may be. I'm not a Darnold fan. I'm not a, a Baker Mayfield fan. But there might be an Oklahoma fan out there that would love it. Well, do they have any Saquons, Kasikis, Hamiltons? Put something together and we can make a deal. You know what I mean? So, if you like my uh, my little rant, my little up my soapbox, like I said, say who you like. Follow me on Instagram too. And I'll keep an eye out. Um, I'm in this to, for the love of it, not for the monetary success of it. Um, hope you all have a nice week, and until next time.